I think a lot about the farm workers. I do think about what does it feel like to be noticed. I remember when I first got my ID to have you know, a piece of paper with my name on it. It makes you feel like you are somebody, you know? And so when I do this, I think about farm workers and I think about how they would feel when they see themselves in a piece of artwork. Well, I grew up in a small village, like uh, in Oaxaca, Mexico. My family was really poor, and the whole town was, was really poor. I guess I didn't know it was rough, but I did question a lot why, you know? Like, I would just be a kid, but as I got uh, like older, like a teenager, and I just started like to realize that it was not normal. We barely had food to eat. I would like go to school barefooted, and um, my clothes were all torn. They were like mended all the time. So it was just crazy, you know? I was probably like, I don't know, eight or nine when I would go out and draw portraits of my neighbors or family members. Whoever had the time to stay still for me for a little bit, and that's who I was going to draw. Those portraits are like the first memories that I have, drawing on my own. It made me feel like I was good at something, you know? Because I wasn't good at school, I wasn't good at this, but I was good at, at doing drawings, and that made me happy. But it's very interesting that, um, that I was doing like life drawing without knowing that that was like a, an important component of, of learning how to draw. Life drawing is one of the fundamentals of going to art school. It was like, a, I guess, a combination of different situations that made me come to the United States. All people would come to the United States and get a little better, you know, and so all the young people want to do the same, you know. People in my hometown, most of them didn't have toilets or beds to sleep on. You have no time to dream, you know. The biggest challenge was to have something to eat that day, you know, that was the biggest challenge. You don't think about what's gonna happen tomorrow. You just sleep day by day. So we risk it, you know, we just, we have almost nothing to lose. By the fourth time that I was trying to cross, I remember like I was not even like feeling anything. I was just like, oh, you know, this person is like dying, so I better, I better help him or her across. But I guess that's part of the, the same situation with the drawings about looking out for other people, I guess. And now that I'm here, I experience working in the fields and it's like, to them, it's, it's, it's a better life, but I feel like it's not fair compared to the other life, like people who are well off. And I don't know how to help them, right? Because there are so many people and I'm just one person. But at least I know and I'm aware of it. So doing art about it is just kind of a way to help them, I guess. People say I'm an activist, but um, it's a representation of my own experiences in the fields. And just the idea of bringing the poor and the rich people is a theme that makes the piece interesting, I think. Because I feel like any marginalized group that is represented can start up conversations about the issues that we have in our societies. Let's talk about this, you know? Being at the museum gives us a chance to be noticed. Whenever I'm in my own community, I feel like we're, we're in the same circle. We're just bumping into each other. But being at, um, at this particular museum, is like bringing the message like outside of the, our own circle, you know? And so being here is like a, an op a big opportunity, you know, to, to share these stories, to share a little bit of the life of the farm workers.